Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Michael Levan. Thank you so much for joining me today. And what we're gonna dive into is the HashiCorp CDK or Cloud Development Kit specifically for Python. Now this will be a quick demo because it is still very much in beta. However, this video will certainly help you get started if you're interested in Python and infrastructure as code with Python. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing that you're gonna need here is you're gonna need to have NPM installed. Next, you're gonna to have to have pip env installed. You're gonna to have to have the Terraform client installed. And of course, you're gonna to have to have Python installed. Now, once you have all that, what you can do is from your terminal, you can type npm install minus g cdktf cli. And then what this is gonna do is, this is gonna install the CDK Terraform CLI for you so we can initialize our Python environment with CDK. Okay, and as we can see, we got that done here. Next, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna CD to my desktop and I'm gonna do mkdir YouTube CDK demo. All right, so I'm gonna create that new directory and then I'm gonna CD into that directory. Once I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clear my screen and I'm gonna type in CDK tf init template equals python and i'm going to pass the local flag now the reason why i'm passing the local flag is i'm not sure if it's a bug or if there's something wrong or it's just a feature that's not added yet but if you don't pass the local flag the configuration will try to be saved in terraform cloud and that's not working just yet so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to hit enter here and then i'm going to keep all these defaults so the project name is going to be YouTube CDK demo. Then for the project description, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna hit enter here. And then now what it's gonna do is, it's gonna start to create that virtual environment for me, which is why we needed pip env. And then we're gonna be able to see a few different files in here in just a second. Okay, and as we can see, that all completed successfully. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up my folder on my desktop, which is gonna be that YouTube uh, CDK demo. All right, this is gonna open up here. Okay, and as we can see, I'm just going to open up terminal again here really quick. Actually, now I'm going to close out of that. We can see a few different files here. So first, we're going to see the cdktf.json. Now, this is very much like, kind of reminds me of like the Terraform state almost. It's just like metadata about your environment. For example, what modules are being used, the app that's going to be running. So it's actually going to be running pip and run python main.py, which is our configuration here. So it's gonna be running our main.py or our application inside of a virtual environment. Next, we have some help here, which is really cool. So it tells us a little bit about like, if we wanna compile the code, synthesize the code. And when I say synthesize, it pretty much just means you're converting the language you're using, like Python, for example, into something that Terraform can understand. All right, I'm gonna open the pip file here and we can see that we're using Python version three the CDK TF version 0.2.0. We have our pip lock here, which is again gonna have some, uh, it's like a Terraform HCL lock almost, if you're interested in Terraform or if you use Terraform. But again, this is just what our environment is gonna be looking like. I'm gonna close out of all this stuff here. And then finally, you have the remain.tf. So as you can see, this is boilerplate code, but this is gonna be the code that you're ultimately gonna be using. So we have a class here, that's calling the Terraform stack configuration, right? And then in our class, we have our method here. So we're specifying self, scope, construct, and then we have some types here like string, okay? We have our app variable here, which is initializing the CDK app configuration here. These are the two that are being imported, Terraform stack and app. We're initializing our my stack class, which is gonna be with app and the project that we're running, so the YouTube CDK demo. And then finally, we're gonna be synthesizing at the end here. So as you can see, it does say define resources here. So any code that you're writing, like if you're interacting with you know any platform at all, or if you're just running code locally, for example, you would put that code right here. And that's how you can get started with HashiCorp CDK for Python today.